What's up guys, I am Switters, welcome back to Vampire. Uh, this is part 5. In the last episode we uh, fought and defeated the vampire that was killing citizens on the docks. And uh, we also got a job <laughs> at this hospital. Um, so, work life just never ends. You're a vampire and you still need a job apparently, so... We'll have a word in my office later, Jonathan. Okay, well... I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. I thought upstairs was the hospital, but apparently not. Come on, you boss! You can do better than that! Now! Huh? It's my turn! Rotten or crispy, each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Okay. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Yeah. To drink blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. You mesmerize your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press LB. me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Yeah, well, you're dead now, so... Oh, well. Um, and I... Honestly, I didn't read those little things popping up on screen. <laughs> I was just listening to him. When he was dying. Uh, okay. To Can we... a life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden, such a divine sin. Okay. Um, we couldn't go up the stairs over there. We need to get into the hospital to continue. But they were blocking the stairs. So I guess right here, here we go. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane. Isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. 
Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. That was quick. Let's find out. I would like to ask a few questions first. Uh, who is Dr. Swansea? What kind Doesn't of man first. is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Oh, just a peasant, eh? I have no time for peasants. Okay. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Yeah, I would think so. He got attacked by a vampire. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. All right. Thank you, Nurse Crane. You're a very lovely woman, I'm sure. Not to me, but, you know, just in general. Uh, I'm not gonna feed on the nurses here. That's probably not the best thing to do. First day on the job and all. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Yeah. Uh, these are all just patients and stuff. I'm not going to, like I just said, I'm not going to start attacking now. So let's just find our office. I've got my name on the door already. I said the last one, right? Down the hall. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated yeah, to the I shadows. Know. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Let's see, what's this? Oh boy. Uh, yeah. If you guys want to read that, go ahead and pause. Try to get everything in here. Probably should read that, but that's just too long. Glass vial, okay. Is this a workbench? The flower's dying. It needs water. And should I do that? That, that, that pops up, that uh, black and white screen there, like in the mist or whatever you want to call it, however it looks. If you press down too hard, <clears throat> excuse me, on the left stick uh, to move, and I'm used to doing, I played a, a lot of Call of Duty, so I'm used to, you know, run, and you gotta press down on it to run, so I've gotta be much lighter on the sticks, try to anyway. Weapons upgrade. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Okay, but what about the analysis? Select a melee weapons upgrade. I wasn't crazy about... Where is... Oh, this. Yeah, it's... It's alright, but... Bludgeon. Grace hatchet. Uh, 72 damage, 60... Yeah, let's do this. Weapons upgrade. You can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the ingredients required. You need ingredients. Okay. Oh, we found a handle and a lead um, pipe or shaft or something like that from before. Uh, hatchet, common handle part, lead plate. Okay. Achievement unlocked, work in progress, okay. <clears throat> Can I do, do I have th enough for this? No. 
But it's unlocked. Or I just needed to unlock the other thing first. Probably. Okay. Um... So is that equipped? William now? Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Okay. So let's lay down for the night. Rest up, heal up, all that. Uh, we have 1100 experience. Increased stamina. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Not sure what to do. Blood barrier. Create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. That sounds pretty good. How much does this cost? 600? The vampire will concentrate on the prey's blood, stopping them in their tracks and making them defenseless. It's easier to kill something that can't move. Hands try that. And I just hope I can figure out how to actually do it in combat. Increase our stamina. Seems like a very good idea. Maybe I can use more of that, that shadow ability. You know, to kind of zip around and do all that kind of stuff, so they, during the fights, they can't, uh, they can't hit me while I'm apparating or whatever you call it. Every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading among citizens. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to cure uh, some people. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It's for you to decide a district's fate. Okay. So the status right now is healthy. It's at 92%, so everything's fine at the moment. Search is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Help the Pembroke Hospital. Okay. So let's get out there and see if uh, we can do some doctor stuff. Hurry now, Doctor. It's freezing here. What's up? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. 
A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way, then. Thank you, nurse. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to make our way out of the hospital and to the morgue. And actually, you know how he's saying about you could take cleaning products and uh, combine them and, uh, you know, make antiseptics and all this stuff. In the very beginning when I was just loading the game, uh, so you guys didn't see it, it's just boring, you know, set the controls and all that kind of stuff. There's actually a warning, uh, so it's back there, so we have to walk around. Um, the Pembroke is so lucky to have Dr. Reed. Telling people not to do that kind of stuff. Don't combine these chemicals and all this kind of stuff. Oh, there's a side entrance here. Uh, don't Basically, don't do this at home, kids. Because uh, it'll kill you. <laughs> so, we're going to go find these pro... Whoop, what is that? Prevent disease. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny, just in case anybody was actually thinking of doing something like that. Say, hey, we're not liable if you're dumb enough to take Clorox and uh, ammonia and mix it and try to heal yourself. Oh, right here. Scow voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. This is the garden, yeah? I don't... Oh. Rogue scout. Okay. the parry button and it didn't work. And apparently I didn't quit my axe. I still have... I still have this uh, two-handed weapon equipped. Can I heal myself again? Yeah. Okay. That's better. There we go. Keep them. I can't keep these guys in front of me. You try to turn to move out of the way, and then they're just jumping on your back. Let's see if we can do better next time.